Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. Wapped me. Wapped? Wapped. Wapped, wapped, wapped. Wapped, wapped, wapped. Wapped him. It was trying to park its little thing in your garage. (laughs) Park this big ass mic right in my widow garage. (laughs) Widow. (laughs) Oh, that reminds me of something I have to tell you. Hold on. Let's just, let's say hi to our friends. What's What's up, up, everyone? everyone? Hello. Hello. Now we're ready. Now we're professionals. So, I have things to tell you. I made a list because Sierra and I have been apart. I made a list. For a week. You did? Yeah, I don't think anything is really important though. <laughs> I was going to say I titled it Things to Tell Sierra. Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I was like, am I even going to know how to talk to her? I know. It was so long. <laughs> I really was. I checked our Marco Polo and I'm like, it's been days. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't even Marco Polo because no. we were both so busy. Yeah, yeah. So um, the first thing I found was, well not found, that just happened was on the way to New York. Uh, um, Shane and I were talking about the episode that came out on Tuesday, the millennial ranking millennial things. Yes. And he goes, um, did I hear you talking about sitting and spinning? And I was like, you did, you did indeed. <laughs> and, um, I, I didn't know what that was about. Yeah. And so we started talking about it and then he said something about, my version of sit and spin, how, you know, you just like spin like a top. Yeah. He's like, well, I think you could get that sensation with a drill. And I'm like, a drill? A dressy? <laughs> and he's like, well, if you put a, like a dildo on a drill. And I'm like, a drill-do? <laughs> so. Drill dusty? <laughs> drill dose coming to ladies in pleasure. I actually like that. I don't think that, I'm sure they have something close to that. And by I'm sure, I mean I'm seen. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm in that Facebook group. <laughs> Aren't you? You. I've dabbled. Kinky bitch. Okay. I've dabbled with a drill dough or two. <laughs> okay. So, drill dough was number one. <laughs> two? Okay. Number two is so at the wedding that I shot on Sunday, mm-hmm. last Sunday, um, it was a mess. Okay. Well, no, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful wedding. It was their actual <laughs> wedding. They had eloped last year and then they got... I was got... like, wait, didn't you say that they listened to us? Uh, no, I don't... No, no, no. Not that... Well, I don't know if you do. <laughs> do you? Let me know. <laughs> Sorry I said it was a mess. <laughs> no, no, no. It was only a mess because it downpoured. Oh, no. Like there was a huge storm. And so we had to like oh, so really rush, like rush, rush. literal... Yeah. And so like... Messy. The... Yeah, it was... We had to like wring her dress out a couple times. Oh, my which... God. But like... She's the one who jumped in the lake Got it. at her elopement. So, like, getting wet was uh, <laughs> on far. <laughs> on far. Yeah, the water, say. the water came to her this time. When you get wet on your wedding day, <laughs> good luck. You get six years of <laughs> six years of good luck. <laughs> so, um, but my hair, I did get a haircut, everyone. Oh, but and your I, hair in the wetness. Well, I had worn it curly that day because it Good. was before I got my hair cut, so there was no wearing it any other Good. way. <laughs> okay. And I had my hair really like good. I already you. told you, but I want everybody else to hear me tell Thank you. Thank you guys. I have yeah. an intentional shag now by an actual <laughs> professional. So everyone, if you know Taylor at Oak and Iron in Buffalo, give her a high five for me because she <laughs> freaking fixed my life. Yes. Um so Anyway, before she fixed my life at this wedding, I have my curly bangs and my hair on top of my head. Got it. And I'm standing outside after the storm, Uh which we got drenched. Yeah. Nanny got caught in the rain. Not nanny. Nanny (laughs) got caught. Or mama. I don't know what. I don't remember what you guys call her. (laughs) So she got caught in the rain. And there were like six people holding umbrellas around her trying to shield her because she had a walker. (laughs) Shane was drenched, like absolutely drenched, because he was in the front. He was holding the front umbrella. <laughs> so anyway, there was that. Um, but after the storm, uh-huh. we decided to take photos outside, and I'm standing out there, just like waiting for everyone to come back out. And the wind is blowing, and my curls are just, you know, stuck to your being, forehead, probably <laughs> being tossed around. <laughs> and this guy comes up, and he goes you know what you look like. And I'm like, I can't wait to hear this. And he said, Kate Winslet. And I'm like, oh my God. This man's vision needs checked for fucking sure. And he goes, no, grab my hand. 
Yes. He, yes. So he goes, grab my hand. And I grabbed it. And he goes, we're on the front of the ship. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And so I just stood there holding this man's hand <laughs> with my curls blowing in the wind. Like, no, Titanic. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I, You're very Titanic-y. It was, the hair was Titanic-esque. Yeah. My face, definitely not kate winslet adjacent after the water probably maybe maybe after she <laughs> after was the frozen. <laughs> yeah okay i love that for me <laughs> that was number two okay let's go next on all the list. business no yep. pleasure shane almost pooped in target okay so oh. this is number three <laughs> okay should have been number two but <laughs> it's oh, fine fair play but we're going in chronological order yeah so <laughs> we are okay at Target before my second wedding, mm-hmm. which was on Friday. So you did two in a row? I did one on Sunday and then one on Friday. Were so they it was both like five in the same days. place? No. One was like uh in Oneata, if I'm saying that wrong. Someone told me that's how you say it. So so sorry. It's near Syracuse. And then where's that? It's in New York. New York. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> knew that. And then the other one was in Buffalo. So Got it. So I both went, in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they were like a couple hours apart. Okay. So on Friday. Before the wedding, we went thrifting, we got coffee, we're in Target. Mm. Shane has not pooped the entire time. This has been like a week and he's like hardly pooped since we've been in New York. Dangerous. He had like serious vacation ass. Okay. (laughs) So. Ass one does. (laughs) So we are in Target and he goes, I think I have to poop. And I'm like, you got it. You got to. Do it then. Like, there's no way. You waiting. gotta fucking go. Don't yeah. hold that shit. So I see him take off in Target and he's walking like a Ken doll. Like, his knees are not <laughs> bending and people keep cutting him off. And I see him like get staggered. And I'm like, I'm about to see him shit his pants in Target. <laughs> he did not. He did make it. Uh, he said it was a two footer. It's a long guy. The poo the itself. Poo. Yeah. He said it was two foot long. <laughs> he's like, easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> So. Curly Q or straight out the toilet? I didn't ask. I like when they come up like a snake and then you turn around and you're like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's, it's head is like above the water. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> like a fucking turtle. <laughs> yes. I know. I'm just a curious turtle. <laughs> Don't mind me. Exactly. Then <gasps> it's even scarier when it's almost out of the toilet. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. I have another thing to give you. It's called, a, it, it's titled here, Key Favor. Okay. So the wedding I shot on Friday is for a listener. She actually found me through the podcast. Okay, maybe that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So Allie, again, hey, I found out I spell your name wrong. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but congratulations on your wedding. It was beautiful. Congratulations. You would love Allie and all of her friends. Oh, I feel I exchange numbers really? with one of them. <laughs> and another one was like, can I add you on Facebook? I'm like, yeah. Yes. She's like, are you serious? And I'm like, uh-huh, for sure. Please do. <laughs> They're so cool. Um, and when you were talking in the beginning, mm-hmm. when you were asking um, the mic to park it in your little garage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is, we're now going all the way back to the beginning. Okay. One of the bridesmaids turns to me during the wedding and she goes, you want to play mermaids or something? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God, that's so cute. (laughs) What color would your mermaid tail be? And I'm like, I panicked because I felt really put on the spot. I didn't tell you this. I don't even know if you listen. Allie, don't tell her. So (laughs) I felt really put on the spot. That's a big question. It is a big question. And then I started panicking. But I know immediately. Because I started thinking about being in my parents' pool and putting hair ties around our ankles and pretending to be mermaids. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I was, I was just really got hard. really embarrassed, even though she didn't know. And she was like, mine is ombre blue. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, ombre blue. Uh, that's what I was going to choose. Is it? Yes. Into a teal. <gasps> Oh, wow. A teal at the start. A Hers teal at my navel. Blue. Okay. Oh, a teal at your navel. <laughs> teal at my navel Nail into teal. a Deep, dark, ocean. Are blue. you a navy teal? <laughs> <I'm> a navy <laughs> teal. <laughs> okay. Navy teal. <laughs> but I decided <laughs> now <laughs> that mine is mine is holographic orange. Okay. That's I like it. that. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Anyway, I loved her. I thought she was great. That's really fun. Mm-hmm. I love when people do that. I keep messing I, with Oh, them. yeah. That was another thing. Sorry, guys. 
I don't know. What are you here for? <laughs> Is this okay? I'm not sure. I feel insecure all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Me too. It's why I'm being so quiet. So, at the Airbnb where I, I like Buffalo, feel like I forgot how to talk. I know. It's like I haven't talked to anybody in a fucking week. And I now know. I'm like, oh my God, there's a camera on us. <laughs> what do we do? do? So, when we were in Buffalo, mm -hmm. we were staying at the Airbnb, and the owner came over to check the garden in the back. And so, we went out and we talked to her, and she told us about this chocolate shop that was within walking distance and shane and i are like well now we know what we're doing today and yep. so we walk to the chocolate shop and it is just like i'll take you to the chocolate shop <laughs> it's full of truffles <gasps> i fucking okay. love a truffle if there's anything so, this bitch loves it's truffles we got a 24 thing of different flavored truffles oh okay? my god i don't remember what the place is called it's the blue table i think it's in buffalo sorry if i'm wrong um but we also got their boozy set so this is chocolate infused with alcohol <gasps> okay it's infused i yeah. thought it was just like going to be tasty and like it no well no that's because there it will taste like it but that's because it's in there sierra and i both but we have got coffee coffee sambuca oh sambuca must be a buka, buka. <laughs> <laughs> for me <laughs> if i ever did <laughs> asmr that'd be something i said coffee sambuca buka, 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 buka. <laughs> so do you want to eat it yeah same time okay yep okay it's hand painted like there and it's so freaking beautiful, is it not? It's really, really gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so good. You know what that tastes like? Mmm. You have a drink, Bailey's from a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it tastes like a white Russian. Yep. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's good. That is delicious. Mmm. Mm hmm. They don't ship right now because it's too hot, mm. but they do Makes in sense. the winter up until like Mother's Day. Oh my God. Isn't that good? That was so good. I'm driving to New York to get some of that shit. Truly. It's only four hours. It's kind of sad. Like, oh my God, I forgot my alcohol was here. When you say things like that, it kind of makes me like sad all of a sudden now that I know that I'll never taste that again, probably. Oh, I'm ordering us some. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I, we have to. I don't yeah. know when. But as soon as they're shipping again. Maybe we just try all of them one night. Get a real sugar rush. I was going to say, we got them upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I won't steal the ones you already have. Oh, but what I wanted to tell you is at the <gasps> wedding. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Birdie. <laughs> we are professionals. Please. Allie gave us a, a favor. It's a <gasps> key. It's a oh. bottle opener, and she wrote notes on it, and it's really sweet. I oh. read yours. It's upstairs. <laughs> it's upstairs. What an invasion of it. my privacy. <laughs> what? You know what? I, it was protecting you. <laughs> you were protecting me? Yeah, from any potential threat. Yeah. I licked it, just in case there was, like, anthrax or yeah, something. Yeah, I almost said arsenic. Is that the same thing? <laughs> I don't know. Which one comes from apple seeds? <laughs> I, what? Johnny anthrax seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that. Yeah, dude, if you eat enough apple cores or some shit, apple seeds, enough. you will die. Why would you have one? You <laughs> Who's seeds? eating apple cores? <laughs> I think it's the seeds. If you eat the seeds, you will die. Yeah, did you grow an apple tree in your belly? Don't you know anything, you big <laughs> stupid? No, I don't know anything. <laughs> you know what somebody said, which I think would be a really good idea. Now, I don't know if we'll ever have Noah on the podcast, okay. but maybe we could have like a recording. Of his answers. Okay. I think we should do, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Or we just call him. Yeah. Well, or a fifth have grader. somebody ask him the questions first and then oh, just record okay. his answers, him saying what the answer is. And then we don't know the questions yeah. ahead of time. And then we answer on the podcast and then play his answer and oh see if he got God. it right. Is he an actual fifth grader? He will be this year. <gasps> his, this is his last, <gasps> last week of school. Oh. And then he is about to be a fifth grader. Exciting. I know. Um... Can I make it dark for a second? Oh, I guess not dark, but just like sad. Because we yes. were talking about school and we also talked about Buffalo. Yes. And I just want to take a second um, to acknowledge what happened. Yeah. Sorry, this is such a turn, but like it's really important to me. And I know it's really important to you, yeah. like not to breeze past really giant things like that um i almost i honestly didn't know how to even talk about it or if i was going to just because of how passionate and like upset i've been about it yeah. recently so i'm like <laughs> what's a good way to there isn't a good way there isn't a yeah. good way to talk about it but like 
the gun violence that happened again at the elementary school in Texas and also at the grocery store in Buffalo. Buffalo. Something needs to fucking change. It has to stop. We can't. Here's the thing is every time this happens, we all just go "Eh." and then hopefully something happens and then it never does. And then it keeps happening. And like there has to be a solution. And the thing is that everybody always argues and it's like enough. There has to be a fucking solution. I don't know. There's no argument that you can give me that I'm ever going to say. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Keep having that and putting people's lives in risk. Right. At risk. Right. Like, there's no way around it for me. Um, and we know that there is probably a deeper rooted cause. We get that. It's obvious. And I will say that it's a lot of people are like, it's a mental health issue. And I beg to differ. Same. Because I know a lot of mentally ill people that do not fucking go and do that. And yeah. even if it was a mentally, number one, go look at any other country. Mm hmm. And the amount of deaths by, like, mass shootings. We are not the only people with mental illnesses. We are not the only people with social media. We are not the only people with... with, bullying. Yes. We are not the only country with that. What is the only thing that we have that's different? That's all I'm saying. A lack of legislation. Yes. Yes. So, please, 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 we're encouraging you, like, vote. Know who you're voting for. Look, this is such a serious thing. Like... Children are dying. It is the number one cause of death in children in, in America. Teens and adolescents. Yep. Yes. Yes. It has to stop. It has to fucking stop. I don't care about. Uh, I know that there are people who probably hunt. I don't give a fuck about your hobby. Truly, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Well, about here's your the hobby. thing. I don't even think that's fine. But like, are you hunting with assault rifles? Yeah. Why the fuck do we need those? Yeah. Why? It doesn't make sense to me because here's the thing. And this is just a fact. If you've turned us off already, fucking sorry. But we will never be quiet about things that happen because children are dying. In the time that that shooter crashed his car and went inside the building, he was firing the entire time. From 1127 to 1133, he fired 100 rounds. How many deaths could have been prevented if he didn't have a weapon that could cause that damage in that amount of time? Right. People say, well, he could have crashed a car into it. How many is that happening at schools around the country? Because right. it's not. Right. Yes, that could be a thing. But we have to stop. Oh, well, he could have done this. He could have yeah. done this. But he didn't. This he, is what he did. So let's do something about this. And, and the solution of, well, let's get more good guys with guns. That's no. unrealistic because there were good yes. guys with guns there and they didn't fucking stop it. Mm-hmm. People still died. And also, uh, NRA, if you're saying that's the solution, why the fuck didn't you have good guys with guns at your co- convention? Why yeah. were you cool with not having any guns in there? Yep. But good guys with guns is the answer. It has to stop. Agreed. I knew I was going to get passionate about it. That's why I was like, Sierra. No. But, but I watched something today. Or what did well, I hear? Okay, I the literally... other thing, before you, while you think of that. Yeah. Uh, what happened in Buffalo, that was racially charged. Yes. So are we saying that racism is a mental health disorder? Right. Because um, it's systemic. Right. Like, I understand that, yeah. And also For putting someone- guards in schools and, and bulletproofing schools isn't going to help when we have mass shootings at concerts, at grocery stores, at mm-hmm. fucking movie theaters. Yep. Are we bulletproofing all of America? Come on. Right. Like, that's not the solution. Mm-hmm. It can't be. My... I don't know if I'm going to send Ollie to school now in the fall. I I don't know. Me and Corey had that conversation even about pulling Noah potentially. Because they are, someone is manufacturing an insert for backpacks. Yep. Bulletproof inserts for children to get an education. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm not willing for my child to learn that he has to potentially die to Learn to read? Yes. What? Exactly. Oh, the thing I was going to say earlier, it was Hamilton. (laughs) Okay. But it's, I was just listening to Hamilton again. Right. And the part where he says, um, where he's talking about Burr, for once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand how you stand to the side. That's how I feel about things like this. Like, I don't care if I'm going to piss people off or potentially lose listeners. This is something that I'm so passionate about because it's affecting all of our children. It is affecting 
if our people teachers, are so pro-life, yeah, you say save the children, but these children are in danger every single day just mm-hmm. going to school, and we're just like, ah, eh, well, maybe we'll find another way. Maybe we'll get more mental health. But you're not, you're not voting for people who want to give you access to mental health care. Yeah. So what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Like there has to be a solution now. My son talks to me every single day about yellow door drills red door drills Mm -hmm. what they have to do i had to have a serious conversation with him because he's at the age now where i i I had to be like he doesn't know it's it's a real threat when they tell him they don't want to scare them so he's like i like red door alerts like it's fun and if the person tries to come in the door we're allowed to throw things at them and it's like a game to him Mm -hmm. and i had to sit there with tears in my eyes like literally choking on my words and be like you can't do that. If that really happens, I need you. You're not going to get in trouble. I need you to run and hide. I need yeah. you to hide because you're not going to outfight them. In his mind, he it's all pretend and he can fight and he can. Mm-hmm. I was like, you have to hide. You're not going to outrun them either. You just have to hide. Yeah. I need you to find a hiding place and be as quiet as you can. And like the fact that I had to tell my 10 year old who is so innocent and like shouldn't even have to. And he was like, I don't want to go to sleep tonight. I'm scared. And I hate that I had to scare him like that. But I, I like it's a real thing that had to be taken seriously because yeah. it could happen. Mm-hmm. It is happening. It is happening way more than we think. The fact that. There have been more mass shootings in America than days in the year so far. How the fuck are we okay with this still yeah. happening? I know from being in education, it is a requirement monthly by the state, at least in Ohio, I don't know for anywhere else, that you have to do so many um, fire drills, yeah, uh, tornado drills, depending on the season, and active shooter drills or um, assailant drills yeah. active uh, uh, violent intruder if you are saying it is a requirement monthly that they have to practice you are telling them it is a when not an if yep and if you know that it's a when why, why are we doing something about it yeah why aren't we doing something and yeah. here's the thing too if you love guns if that's your hobby especially assault rifles again like fine i guess but no it, not I fine love, sorry not fine well for not me. Fi- but what i'm saying is yeah. i love crochet it's like my favorite hobby if crochet needles were fucking killing kids i would find a new fucking hobby i, said I that don't about care pizza. i don't care i'll never touch pizza again if you told me that pizza is killing kids and even if i'm like well i'm responsible with my crochet needles if someone was like well these people aren't and and yeah criminals can get them but criminals can do anything. We we that we still should have laws. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? Because it obviously works. It is working in other countries. Americans, open your eyes, please. Yeah. Because other countries are having success with laws that are regulating these things and we aren't. Why? Yeah. Like it's it's a problem. Yeah. The solution is not more guns. It never fucking will be. Right. It never will be. True. Sorry. Facts. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag no cap. <laughs> I what swear to God, bitch. we're gonna make it fun again, guys. I'm sorry. No, but I'm it's just so it's heated. Really... That's why I wasn't gonna talk about it, just because I, I it's, know it's up. It's something that, but it's important. And like it, we we're gonna put some links in the description um, where you can donate, sign petitions. We this is this fucking matters. It, Please it call your matters. representatives if you can. Yeah. I've been bothering our senators. <laughs> <laughs> like I am so annoying. Yeah, but like. We have hello, motherfucker. <laughs> there <laughs> was the legislation, even just like basic regulations, background yep. checks. You can be, you have to be twenty one in this country to buy a fucking cigarette, but you can go out and buy an a, a, a fucking assault rifle yeah. at Walmart mm-hmm. and an unlimited amount of fucking ammunition, but you can't smoke a cigarette. <laughs> How the fuck does that make sense? Because it could kill you. How- Right. I, you have okay. to take a test to get your license because the car that you're driving is a big heavy machinery that yeah. could, could could kill somebody or yourself, but you can go buy a gun. Yep. Come on. I know. It doesn't make the sense. The math's not mathing. It's not. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we're going to have a good done. time and <laughs>
And that's no. that. Again, sorry, and I'm sure people sped through it or turned it off. Um, well, if if you turn it off, you're gonna miss a good time. I promise. Yeah. Um, and again, I I don't. I'm done trying to people please and not take a stand on things that matter because I want people to like me. That's not who nope. I've ever been, and it's not who I'm gonna continue <laughs> no, to be. No. Sorry. If you, and also if that's your condition, if your condition is like, I like you, but only when you talk about Poo-poo shit that pee-pee. I like. Yeah. <laughs> then like. You don't like me, so you don't yeah. have to be here. We don't have to agree on things, but you should see why I think the way that I think and understand me and empathize with why I'm saying those things because it I, matters. I it am matters. to a point, though, where I will end a friendship over this. Oh, fuck oh my yeah. God. My, I, I never <laughs> button my pants again. <laughs> my pants have been unbuttoned since the car. The amount of fucking people That's that funny. I've seen on TikTok that are just rocking their pants unbuttoned. Really? Like shorts and shit. It's like... I'm like, are we doing that? Because Is it a I trend? Love- yes. Oh, I don't know. I like it. You know what? Unbutton them, fuckers. They're unbuttoned. Say no more. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I will end a friendship <laughs> over these views. Yeah, well, I think it's important to because yeah. c- people are dying. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, what we're doing today. What are we doing? Because I gave you a bunch of options that we never actually. I don't talked know. About I thought we you were, were going to surprise me. Okay, I think we should do uh, the. I want to apologize one. because I do feel like I abruptly switched the topic, and I don't want people to think I'm overthinking it. I'm overanalyzing what's happening right now, but I don't know how to transition. Because well, we got that one person who oh, was like, yeah. meh, 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 meh. "Boo! <laughs> we don't give a fuck what you say." I do. I care deeply, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I want to transition. I want to go back. Uh, to what this was going to be about in the first place. Well, we could make the entire thing about that because I have a lot to say, but that's why we need I to know. quickly switch because if we don't, I'm going to keep talking about I it know. and getting fired and part up. Part of me was like, do we just have people send in how they've been affected either by? Yes, I think so. Okay. All right. <laughs> so well, if you like, we'll do that. We'll do. We'll talk that's going to that. be a heavy fucking episode, but I think that's important. I think those are firsthand accounts. I feel like is what changes people's. And I'd love to hear from people who don't live in America. Please send those in. Because people here think that this is the way you're supposed to live. And it's like, I have so many friends now who live outside the country that are just like mind blown that we live this way. Yeah. Honestly. That we think it's normal. I feel like doing an episode where people who are not in the U.S. send us like our our abroad is that the word? Yeah, I think <laughs> our so. abroad listeners send us like what you guys think of what's happening in America right now, yeah. so we can share it. I think would be really interesting. Yeah, because we don't. I don't feel like that's easily accessible, and no. I would love to know what other countries think about you know the Roe versus Wade situation. I had somebody, a man, of control. course, uh-huh. on my Instagram thing, argue with somebody who was either Canadian or something. I'm sorry if. Maybe Australian, maybe Australian. Mm -hmm. And he had the audacity. He wasn't following me. So like, why are you on my page? First of all, but he had the audacity to like, all she said was like, I'm so sorry, this is happening kind of a thing. There has to be a solution. He was like, um, you don't get to like put your two cents in when it, you're not American and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, if anything, their opinion matters more. A hundred percent. Because they, they are living the way that people should live. Yeah. And that's what oh. I want to hear. I kept thinking that when I was in Buffalo. I was like, I I can see Canada. Yeah. I can see it. I keep <laughs> passing the Canadian Bridge. I just want to go there. Can you imagine and going to like And I know that like, like big... every place has their issues, but like, holy shit. I can't go to a movie theater, to a sporting event, to mm-hmm. a concert without literally thinking, where are my exits? Yeah. What happens if I start hearing shooting? Are my kids like in arm's reach that I can grab them and duck. Mm -hmm. That's not normal. It's not a normal way to live. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live like this anymore. Right. I don't want my kids to live like this. And you all should feel the same. Your children shouldn't have to live like this. We need to do better for them. Right. All right. So, (laughs) so Sierra came up with a few ideas. I have so many ideas. Um, (laughs) Did you do the Amazon thing? I think we should do the Amazon. Okay. So do you guys remember when we guessed Amazon guessed uh, the product from Amazon reviews? Yeah. Okay. Sierra's got an article that I'm going to guess. Yeah. So here's the deal. I found, so I wanted to do, and we're going to do one for our Patreon, patreon.com slash ladies and tangents, (laughs) patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. Um, We're going to probably do more. Like, I don't know if you all 
know what Ranker is, but mm-hmm. Ranker.com, like R-A-N-K-E-R.com, just has like a shit ton of like silly people vote on things and it's mm-hmm. like listicles of things. But there are a lot of categories. So some are just like the most hilarious Amazon reviews ever written is what yeah. this one is. But there's also like so something mysteries that have never been solved yeah, or okay. like um, weird things in history that make you go bleh or whatever the fuck. <laughs> facts that we can't believe no one ever told us yeah so i was like what if we just find some of those yeah it could be like a a recurring segment yeah and we just go through these lists like blind react to them kind of a thing um but this one i wanted to read because i saw that it was amazon reviews and i was like oh my god well especially because a lot of you have been asking for another amazon reviews episode yes so i made you sit through 30 minutes of gun control (laughs) (laughs) yes so that you could get to the (laughs) yeah this is how we test to see who the real ones are (laughs) yes um so i some of these i might just read and some of them we might have done before my memory is shit we did the amazon one two years ago right so don't yell at me if you're like um you've already done that one i don't listen to us like you do <laughs> i'm guessing that someone is going to put actual game starts at this time <laughs> probably in one of the comments a uh, boohoo you came for ladies and tangents not ladies and does what is supposed to be done <laughs> That's a stupid name. <laughs> Facts. We tried it. <laughs> it didn't pull well. <laughs> it didn't. Okay, ready? Five stars. Hoping it'd be crap, her blank would slip out and electrocute her. <laughs> time out, time out. We did do another Amazon review one recently. Did we? It was the their displeasure one. I was pregnant. I don't remember shit from that. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Uh, when you said five stars, I remember I heard myself in my They're head go this pleasure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Got this for the mother in law for bath time. Hoping it'd be crap, her blank would slip out and electrocute her. So far, this bloody thing is staying in one piece. Great. Bloody for- thing? No, uh, I think they're from the UK. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, what's slipping out of her? Is it? A- oh my gosh! Is a flex disc? <laughs> It's a period cup. It's a tampon. <laughs> it's a plane. Sorry. Go ahead. So far, this bloody thing is staying in one piece. Great for waterproof blank. Crap for murder. I probably it- should have blanked out waterproof. <laughs> is part of this speaker? <laughs> no. It's, it's not a waterproof speaker? No. Yeah, you'll never guess this. <laughs> it's for a bath? It could be. Oh, my God. Speaking of baths. Could be for wherever is wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay when we were at the airbnb in buffalo i love a good bath they had a soaking tub that was uh, the whole reason we went there i fucking want a soaking tub i took five baths oh in my. 24 hours <laughs> it was i took two months worth of baths <laughs> in one day and it was wonderful i was like i'm kind of bored i'm gonna take a bath i love I wasn't that. bored i was just like trying to force myself to relax yeah and water helps it does help it makes me feel like i'm back in the womb <gasps> oh my god that bath did feel like that because it was a soaking tub i had yes. so much womb yeah room. <laughs> so, so much, much womb, womb room <laughs> I did. okay i'm sorry it's not a speaker no is it plugged in no so it takes batteries no vibrator what <laughs> no <laughs> okay it doesn't he take would get batteries? that for his mother-in-law this is something that i don't know their family <laughs> i should just tell you what it is. wait no, no no okay keep going it doesn't take batteries no but it's not always plugged in okay so sometimes it's plugged in mm-hmm. okay okay one would say you charge it <laughs> charge it mm-hmm. okay but this is something for the something that's why i shouldn't have said iPad. Waterproof. close <gasps> Okay. But it's not the actual iPad. Oh, the waterproof case? Waterproof case for a Kindle cover. <gasps> Amazing. That, what? Hoping it'd be crap, her Kindle would slip out and electrocute her. Oh, <laughs> that's also not how Kindles work. No. It would just ruin the Kindle. Yes. <laughs> if the Kindle's not plugged in, it's not, there's no electricity. No. It's just internal battery, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid? <laughs> okay. This says, five stars, saved my marriage. Oh, wait, we did do this one. Maybe. The banana slicer. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, go ahead. Well, I guess I'll just read it. 
<laughs> what can I say about the 571B banana slicer that hasn't already been said about the wheel, penicillin, or the iPhone? This is one of the greatest inventions of all time. My husband and I would argue constantly over who had to cut the day's banana slices. <laughs> it's one of those chores no one wants to do. You know the old, I spent the entire day rearing our children. Maybe you can pitch in a little and cut the bananas. <laughs> oh. And of course, you think I have the energy to slave over these damn bananas? <laughs> I worked a 12-hour shift just to come home to this. These are the things that can destroy an entire relationship. It got to the point where our children could sense the tension. The minute I heard our six-year-old girl in her bedroom reenacting our daily banana fight with her Barbie dolls. (laughs) See? Yes! reenacting your trauma with your Barbies. <laughs> I knew we had to make a change. That's when I found the 571B banana slicer. Our marriage has never been healthier and we're e- we've even incorporated it into our love making. <laughs> Thanks banana slicer. First of all, how are you incorporating it into your love making? I'm very curious about that. What if you cut bananas over those titties? <laughs> oh, the, he's not the sque- penis. <laughs> he's just squeezing his donger in between. The- it's a slicer. I know. Well, it's not going all the way through. It's just a little. Oh, it's just a little like risk. <laughs> yeah. High risk, high reward. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. Understand. Yeah. Some people get erect. That's what I'm when saying. When fear. That's person. what I'm saying. I don't know his kink. Um, I would. My kink is dick slicing. <laughs> <laughs> Almost pretend dick slicing. <laughs> yeah, the thought of dick slicing <laughs> is my kink. Okay, my kink. Okay, is thinking about you. <laughs> about dick slicing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's bananas. Okay, <laughs> but whole or sliced. <laughs> I'm. A- He's being facetious, yes? Who knows? <laughs> okay, because... <laughs> the internet. <laughs> because... Oh, there's a lot of people in the world. I don't know that I would put anything past anyone I feel anymore. weird that they're fighting over a slicing bananas. Those are easily the easiest thing to cut. <laughs> this is the easiest. And also, who? why do you have to slice them? I would them? fight over... Wanting to slice the banana. I want to slice that fucking banana. <laughs> I know. Also, yeah, why are you cutting it up? How do you eat them then? Babies? You Babies? Cut them up for your children? She was six. Oh, yeah. Why are you cutting that banana up? She could eat a whole banana. <laughs> yeah. You're making your work, you're making your day harder for no reason. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Now with the 8572517B <laughs> banana slicer. <laughs> All right. Oh. This one is by Lucille. <laughs> oh, ball? Lucille. Seal. Loose seal. <laughs> That's hilarious. Five stars works great. My girlfriend and I were on the verge of breaking up because I would keep her awake at night with my constant blank blank. Not anymore. Consider this relationship saved. This blank is so silent. She will sometimes forget I'm even home and invite her lover over. <laughs> He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> is it a... Um, um, it's Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say I wanted to say CPAP machine but I kept saying pap smear in my head and I'm like that's not right it's not a pap that's machine pap smear machine <laughs> pap smear get that pap smear machine away from me um, can you imagine at night time if you're just like <laughs> open up <laughs> Duckville just wakes you up okay that's a little bit traumatic because of what I watched today did you watch the Our Father documentary no. on Netflix? Oh. What's it about? It is about this doctor. Oh. Oh, my yes. God. I, I oh want to do an episode about it because he's not been charged. Oh, my God. They say it's not. What he did wasn't illegal. <gasps> Sorry? I know. Okay, if you I don't know. know what we're talking about, this doctor. Inseminated, inseminated his patient. his pet. <laughs> why, no, why are you echoing me incorrectly i'm sorry <laughs> i'm drinking and i'm taking cold medicine <laughs> allergy so, medicine party so it's a party in my brain right now <laughs> oh my god without them without their consent or their knowledge yeah so because guess- i didn't watch it were they there for fertility treatment yes and he used his own yes for what reason just to like have a bunch of his kids running I, around i don't know what his real reason how is many there's kids? a lot of speculation how many kids i feel like i can't tell you i feel like we should make this a different episode okay 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 okay, okay. i'm sorry i'm done talking okay. about it all right 
That's fucked 94. up. 94. Holy <laughs> fuck. As we know. Holy There's fuck. There's and counting. That's not illegal? Maybe we Apparently. do something about that, America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's add that to the list. Oh, my God. That is horrific. It is, I think they just passed legislation now in Indiana. Um, the siblings and the mothers of the children. Oh, my Oh um, my God. Passed. They're all siblings. Yes. Oh, that's they why found it's called our because... father. Jesus. Oh, they were doing 23s and me, as I'm mm -hmm. assuming. Yep. <gasps> Every time one of the siblings. You idiot. You didn't think that was going to like, they weren't going to get caught? What well, happened? Some of them are in their 40s. Oh, so he probably was like, technology will never exist. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, my God. So what is this thing? <laughs> you know? Oh, this thing? Yeah. I forgot we were doing that. Um, Not a CPAP machine. <laughs> is I forgot it, we were doing Is it a humidifier? No. Is it... You tell me when you want to give up. A nose strip. No. Is it... Nothing you use for sleeping. It's nothing you use for sleeping? No. Is it a drill dough? No. <laughs> <laughs> Silent drill dough. Okay. No. Nexus silent wired mouse. It's a mouse for mouse. Oh, so it says I would keep her at night with my constant mouse clicking. Oh, I, I maybe he's I gaming have said clicking. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's just in the corner going. <laughs> <laughs> that drives me insane. Yeah, constant. Okay, three stars mm -hmm. changed my life. Okay. We might have done this one before, but I can't remember. Changed your life in three stars? What the fuck was wrong with your life? <laughs> You'll see what minus two stars are for. Okay. Received this blank as a gift for my 18th birthday. Wish I'd have known what it was because as soon as I touched it, I grew a mustache and became a Navy SEAL. <laughs> Mom fainted and my dad laughed and handed me a beer. I was born a girl. Minus two stars because my breasts were really nice. Okay. Okay. A cigar. No. Um, a, what category would you put it in? Tool. Jewel? Tool. Tool. <laughs> because the category says tools and home improvement. <laughs> drill dough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a drill? No. Is it a hammer? No. Hmm. Hammer. Hmm. Okay. I can't wait to show it to you. Is it a saw? No. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking never been dying to. Um, oh, funny you said dying. What am I doing? What color? Silver. Silver <laughs> and gold. Is it a knife? It's a pocket knife. It is a Wanger 16999 Swiss <laughs> Army Giant Knife. Oh, Look. my God. Look wow. How many things are on that? Do you really think people use Swiss Army knives? Yeah, I've seen people. Whip them out and they're like, just let me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> my grandpa's one of those people because he goes oh, fishing. Fair. And so he'll like use the one hook for the fucking thing. And then there's like a wine cork around <laughs> there, which is interesting. And then you could like pop a beer open with yeah. the one side. Okay. So it's just out all alcohol related things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fishing. I use my knife to open beers. <laughs> We don't have to anymore because Allie gave you a key that'll open bottles. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, this one is one star. Do not buy this blank. You can see the ending right on the, right on the blank. <laughs> okay, it's a book. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do, do not buy this book. You can see the ending right on the cover. What's it called? You said, well, that's what you have to find out, friend. <laughs> I have to guess? This book is completely misleading. Uh, and I'm not going to make you guess this one. I'd rather just read it. The book is called Where is Baby's Belly Button? <laughs> Where is Baby's Belly Button? Well, this book is completely misleading. The entire plot revolves around finding Baby's Belly Button. The title makes this very much clear from the beginning. <laughs> However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. Baby's Belly Button is right where it's supposed to be on Baby's stomach. Right where it show clearly shows you on the cover of the book. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking 
fucking roasted this kid's book. This plot is a complete mess as a result of its reliance on the mystery of where the belly button is. Everything falls apart the second you realize that the belly button was in plain sight all along. Oh there God. is no conflict. There is no character development. And there is scarcely any plot. <laughs> Whoever wrote this book must have a serious error in judgment. Because you would have to be an infant to not immediately understand <laughs> where baby's belly button is. This is one of the worst pieces of literature <laughs> I've ever read. <laughs> oh, honestly, you know what? That's very Sometimes funny. shit hiding in plain sight, that is the most profound. I think so. Hmm. I need more alcohol. Like, <laughs> holy fuck! <laughs> you just drink that shit fast. I'm drinking my summer drink. Your eyes are looking a little hey. like you're feeling it. Am hey. I wrong? You can tell me that wrong. <laughs> she came down on a bubble duck. <laughs> a bubble dog. A bubble duck. <laughs> she, hey, she, hey, hey! She came down in a bubble hey, duck. Bubble duck. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it bugger with me or not? <laughs> Did you ever watch Squid Billies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hated that show. That but show I is one of it. my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> that show is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I hate Squid Billy. Dude, it's so funny. Yeah, How but they make th- me so angry. They- looking at them makes me furious. Yeah, you can't look at it for too long. But listening to them, <laughs> that show makes me laugh to the point of tears oh, when I watch it. Or the one with like the tomato. I fucking as a person. Dude, that is <laughs> that's the best. Aquaman is it Aqua Force? Aqu- teen hunger, fucking yeah. aqua, aqua, <laughs> aqua force. Teen, teen hunger. hunger. That show is fucking hilarious. The aqua meatball. <laughs> Ow, meatball. <laughs> it's shake. Those shows are so funny. Terrible. I love them. <laughs> you don't remember that part? It's, it was robot chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. When I was watching those shows, I was under the influence and that's all I was, <laughs> was going to say. I'm really drunk right now. Yeah. And so now Squid Billies sounds wonderful. We should watch it. <laughs> we should watch Squid Billies. Much better than what you made me watch last time after we recorded, which was fucking that JC. Sierra has an <gasps> apology to make. I would like to make a formal apology <laughs> and, and it's important. To Justin Timberlake and to all <laughs> Just, of you. Justin. <laughs> I'd like to formally apologize for ever thinking that JC was more attractive than you. What? Or more or, deserving of the solo career. Here's the deal. I remember I was looking at that with rose colored glasses on because I loved yeah. and sang so much when I when they split up and I was like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to literally love everything they do. We went upstairs and I was like, you got to watch this. <laughs> it was horrifying. <laughs> it was like, like, JC, what the fuck? <laughs> Honestly, dude, Honestly, what's with? Why are you so hypersexual? <laughs> yeah, all, I feel violated. <laughs> it was so aggressive, and then he he <laughs> fucking had it. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Okay. okay. So first of all, he's got a song that's like all day I dream of sex and I was like that is so we watched the music video. Horrific. It was so so it was softcore porn. It was so aggressive for like what reason? But anyway, so then it <laughs> she pops up like other songs and he's got a song with fucking dirt McGirt. <laughs> JC featuring Dirt by Dirt. <laughs> I was like, you're telling me that Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, Timbaland, Timbaland Pharrell, Pharrell. And they're like, we're giving JC Dirt by Dirt. <laughs> Maybe Dirt McGirt's a lovely guy. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't listen to the song. Are there can- any Dirt McGirt fans out there? You listen to? But look, <laughs> that, just seeing it like that, <laughs> knowing the comparison was the funniest fucking thing. I wish we were crying. I wish someone would have gotten a like, video. Oh God, I mean, this is a close Pretty second. close, because yeah, I forgot close. about it until this moment. Fuck. Oh Dirt God. McGirt. <laughs> Dirt McGirt. Wow. Wow. Okay, five stars. Dirt McGirt. <laughs> Sorry that I ever 
put all my faith in JC. And maybe he's fine. She said it with her whole fucking chest. I really thought and I was then so crumbled. proud. You fucking folded at the sight of Dirt McGurk. I was so proud of him. And then we listened to his music and I was like trying to... J- th- Listen, the chorus slapped, did it not? Everything... <laughs> I was like, bro. It was so I don't even remember. Cringy. The entire thing was cr- the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my yeah. life. It's bad news bears. So, oh, fuck, we're playing a game. We are playing a game. <laughs> okay, This all is right. not just a review of JC's solo album. <laughs> no, but it should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, this one. Five stars. Mm-hmm. My wife and I can now blank all of our devices simultaneously. Now all we fight about is her crippling alcoholism and my unhealthy obsession with the coat of fanning. <laughs> Uh, is it a charger? Yes. <laughs> oh my god! It's a four port charger. Yeah. <laughs> four port and seven years ago. <laughs> this says five stars. Good product. Makes my farts sound louder. <laughs> the hair, whoopsies, <laughs> <laughs> must have acted as an interlocking silencer. I give this the big thumbs up. Five out of five. The hair. Mm-hmm. Remember, Jerry. Razor? People have ass crack hair, and it's <gasps> something that you need to understand. <laughs> I think one time I tried to shave my ass crack, like not intentionally, and I didn't go like a- around back. I went through the front door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> razor burn central. Yeah, I was like, oh you my have god, to really be careful. It hurts my fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. No, it's not a razor. It's not a razor. No. Is it wax? No. Is it a chair? No. <laughs> Is it um? A laser. No. Is it? You're so close. You've hit all the things except this one thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Tweezers. No. <laughs> tweezing your ass hair. <laughs> Five Can stars. One star. Tweeze my ass hair and it hurt. <laughs> um, fucking agony. Is it Nair? Yes. Well, technically it it's Veet. But oh, I, Veet. I, will I take used it. Veet before. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should remember burns. that. Yeah. You're not supposed to use it on your genital area. Well, I didn't. I used it on my leg. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, we're not using Veed on our genitals. That's what we know. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I know for sure. Don't use that. I've never Veed in my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Beat, <laughs> not this bitch. <laughs> one star, in the one star is too much for this product. I don't know if this is a scam or if mine was broken, but it doesn't work, and I am still getting abducted by UFOs on a regular basis. <laughs> Tin foil, no. Oh, um, is, not sure that you'll actually. You can keep guessing. <laughs> is this um a, an alien scanner? Kind of. So okay. it's a UFO detector, internal magnetometer interface <laughs> with microcontroller for 24 hours, seven days a week monitoring for magnetic anomalies that have been wow. reported with many UFO sightings. <laughs> Truly? If anyone has UFO sighting <gasps> like stories. Oh, you need to talk to Corey's brother. He was at my house today and what? he was talking about how the government knows. Which he's one? B- Troy. He is big on UFOs. You well, fucking I'll talk tell to you. him. He'll tell you all about them. But they admitted that there are UFOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, UFOs yeah. is just unidentified flying objects. So, like, really, that's a b- kind of big umbrella. It's an airplane to me. <laughs> <I'll be honest. laughs> Truly, I don't get those fuckers at all. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So, yeah, they're real for sure. I get it, but I do want to know. No aliens exist. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do what? <laughs> <laughs> no aliens exist. Yes. Why? Because I know. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> Are you an alien? <laughs> I don't fucking tell him. <laughs> well, um, no, but I'm I'm positive I've met one before. You are? I think. No, remember that story I have that was glitch in the matrixy. So it was either a glitch in the matrix or like an alien thing. I was on Marco Polo with you when it happened. Yes. Those people in the fucking yes. car. Yes. Okay, I do I'll tell you all that. the story. So. I was driving and I go past this car that's just so when you pull out of my 
driveway. There's like a yeah. four way stop right there. And so I got to it and there was already a car stopped there. So I stopped like thinking, okay, obviously go. Your and turn. they wouldn't go. And I looked at them and it was like two women, but they looked like, uh, like out of it, like yeah. mouths hanging open, almost like, like really. So I was like, okay. Like they were turned off. Yes. So I was like, maybe they're on something because that's not yeah. uncommon. Yeah. Um, but also like, okay, so I just went. I was like, well, that was weird. You lost your turn. It's mine. Yes. And so I was telling you about it. And yep. I'm like, that's so weird. And then I get to the next one and they're pulling up from the other way. Like to the same, to the next stop. So I'm still going straight. They're pulling up now from my left. the way that they would have had to go to get there at the same time she was there was no way no so what but so i see them again and they just go by and i'm like okay that's weird but maybe they like freaking sped and got over there and so i'm driving a little more and i'm telling jerry this on marco polo and as i'm saying it i'm now on a completely different street and i look up and they're sitting in the car at the stop like sign ahead of me the at this point there is no street that they could have gotten on the other side unless they completely went backwards and around yeah. like it it's almost impossible that they could have gone on the other side yeah that quickly that they would have beat me and i had tears in my eyes when i was telling her mm-hmm. i was like i'm freaking the fuck out right now <laughs> like how did they get over there who are these people mm-hmm. their car like never moved they were just always parked at a stop sign or i would see them pulling up to it but like not driving anywhere else yeah. and like it was like following me around it was fucking terrifying so you think they're aliens i think they might be aliens that's okay. what i'm saying or something creepy i freaked out the two girls one ghost mm-hmm uh, I think on TikTok they shared that one of their listeners had sent in a video that um, one of their listeners' husbands was on a camping trip, I think, mm-hmm. and he. That's why camping scares me. I feel like, like that's where you get abducted. Half an hour of like recorded footage on his phone, but <gasps> like he doesn't remember, and oh. there's like talking that doesn't sound like any language of Earth. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then like there was a flashing light and stuff yeah so it was it go to their tiktok because it's there and it is terrifying oh i'll have to God, show it to you so scary okay 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 four stars <laughs> okay i wear this blank to sing lullabies to my children <laughs> it's a sheep costume no <laughs> oh <laughs> i wear this blank to sing lullabies to my children they are terrified of the blank <laughs> Whenever they protest about their bedtime or ask for too many sweets, I whip on the blank and they soon know who is the king penguin. <laughs> is it a penguin mask? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> but I do, I should blank that part out. I love... Okay, Ollie has a, multiple penguin books. Mm-hmm. And one of them, um, this penguin is like annoyed that all of the other penguins look just like him. And he goes, mom. And the mom goes, I literally have no idea who you are. (laughs) (laughs) And then he goes, dad. And he goes, I don't know who you are. My name is Mortimer. (laughs) And I just think it's so fucking funny. That's hilarious. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars is a penguin. (laughs) Hey guys, did I tell you what my summer drink is? Oh yeah. We should tell everybody. Lemonade and sweet tea vodka. And like, it Can I have is. A sip? Yeah, I won't use your straw, but I'm just gonna sip out the. Is side. potent? As <gasps> oh my <fuck>. god! <laughs> Did you just dump stuff on yourself? I was so trying. Did to you make dump sure- stuff, or was yes. it mostly empty? <laughs> okay, great. I was trying so hard to make sure I didn't spill yours that I just dumped mine all down the side. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> Completely abandoned it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Isn't that good? That's a fucking spicy Arnie Palm if I've ever, <laughs> if I've ever. It's delit. Look at him. <laughs> just oh on me. Oh my god! You look like you peed yourself out the side. That's my side. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know where your vagina is. I'm not. You don't. I'm not <laughs> speculating. It could be in your hip. All right, that's fair. My <laughs> piss out the side. Mm-hmm. Should we do one more? Yeah. How fucking long have we been doing this? I don't know. Maybe two more. <laughs> Five stars. Well worth the wait. Oh my God. I pooped at Target too. <laughs> Can I tell you? 
I also had to poop at Target. I waited till Shane got back so he could watch the cart. Okay. And then I went in and I made myself a little nest. Hold on real quick. I was just about to say, oh my God, I hope we don't get like too drunk because how unprofessional. And I remember we have literal episodes <laughs> dedicated to that. To be they drunk. love it. Yeah. Okay, go on. So I'm at Target and I'm making a nest for myself. Okay. I just keep ripping toilet paper off. And I'd like, love to make I'm like a fucking bird in there. Yep. Just really. I did it for so long that it flushed before I even <laughs> sat down. And I was like a little presumptuous. <laughs> I'm not even done yet. So I haven't even begun. <laughs> I went and I sat down and someone fucking barrels into the bathroom <laughs> just like fucking charges in they're right next to me oh good and they're making sounds they're just like huffing and puffing like fucking out of breath oh my about god it was probably me <laughs> about the shit and i'm like me, me too, too. <laughs> honestly same but like i was so intimidated by their energy <laughs> that i was like this is your bathroom now <laughs> I oh, i'm sorry i'm intruding yeah i forfeit that's but funny Anyway, they were still in there when I left, so they <laughs> were was... having a harder time than I was. Yeah. Some people have constipation. We don't have that issue. No, my shit falls all. out of my body. If you guys were in the Target um, in Buffalo near the Five Guys on Friday and you pooped with me, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Come say hi. <laughs> all right. Well worth the wait. Five stars. Sure, these blank are a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. I worked 60 hours a week all year long, and I finally was able to purchase these blank. I put them on, and you could immediately tell these weren't your average $60 blank. <laughs> they may have the same amount of form, comfort, shape, and performance, but they are way more stylish. Crocs. Like, ah, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, my iPad. <laughs> Just shut off. <laughs> I got aggressive. <laughs> like $3,000 stylish. Sometimes my daughter complains, though. She'll say things like, are we going to eat tonight? And I'm tired of sleeping in the street. But then I just show her my awesome blank and she shuts her little bitch mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Great blank. Do recommend. Great, great, how great thou art. <laughs> I'm assuming because he said they were $60 that this is a joke. <laughs> it's a 60, satire. 60. But they do look like they would be snazzy. Sunglasses. No. Gloves. No. They're not shoes? They are shoes. You uh, said shoes. <laughs> I said shoes. And you go, no. And then. <laughs> Kept reading. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you. You dumb bitch. Wait. I didn't hear now, you I, now I'm questioning myself. Did you gaslight me? <laughs> I don't know. Did you gaslight me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I did. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you listen back, you'll have to tell me which one of us okay. was the gaslighter. <laughs> <laughs> Buy this blank or don't. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Three stars. That has hardly any hints to it. Is this the last one? Yeah. Okay. It used to be that I got home from work and the only thing I'd want to oh, put... Oh, that was the title. <laughs> that was the oh, whole review. My God. I have to say real quick <laughs> that I am so sorry for what this is about to say, but I'm still going to read it. Okay. So trigger alert. But for I'm going to read it. For um <laughs> suicide. I'm sorry, I'm not it's not a funny. Yes. Oneself. It used to be that I got home from work and the only thing I'd want to put in my mouth was the gold <laughs> barrel of my grandfather's shotgun. I'm sorry. Then I discovered blank, and now there are two things. <laughs> Do they want to put in their mouth? Yes. It's yogurt. No. Is it food? Not technically. What? Not technically. Lube. No. <laughs> I come home and the just banana put... slicer. <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. 
You want me to tell you? I'm so bad at these because I'm always yeah, just like, you want me to tell, tell you? Me. It's, a, it's a cookbook. It says Microwave for One by <laughs> Sonia Allison. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a cookbook for microwaving. <laughs> oh my God. And it looks like it's from the 80s. <laughs> it is. It's so old. It's so funny. Oh my God. Okay. All right. That's all. Wow. That was good stuff. I didn't mean for this to be a drunken Amazon review, but, but it, here that's we what are. it became. I meant for it. Jerry asked me before we started, should I drink coffee or alcohol? And I was like, go fucking hard, bitch. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, I'm going to need some lemonade because I just got some stuff. Yeah. Also. Oh, I didn't say what I was drinking. <laughs> I don't know if anyone see. cares what you're drinking. Yes, they all care because okay. someone liked my citrusy thing. <laughs> and she said that we should start saying what we're drinking oh. at the tops of episode like they do on wine and crime, maybe. I don't know. Oh. They said a specific but I can't remember. But anyways, I'm drinking. You guys fuck with high noon. These vodka and soda drinks. This yeah. is watermelon. I just started drinking them. They're fucking delicious. And I love They're too them. sweet for me. Uh, they don't have any added sugars. They're still too sweet for me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Fair enough. Know. It's gluten free. No added sugars. 100 wow. calories. I feel so light. That's why I drink them. Because they don't make me feel bloaty. Like beer, I love. But sometimes mm. it makes me feel like. It hurts my belly by the end of drinking. I hear that. It's so bloaty. Truly, these hard Arnold Palmies Mm -hmm. make me, like, I feel like I'm drinking water. Yeah. Well, that's scary. Oh, 100% they're dangerous. (laughs) I love it. This is what I was drinking when I went to that birthday party the other day. Yeah. And then Shane and I went back to the hotel and tried to do um, the the tango. Sure. And we both, I was spinning. (laughs) I was literally spinning. And he was ordering pizza. And I was like. During fucking? No, <laughs> no, we were getting ready. I was like, you got to order that pizza before we start. <laughs> and so he's ordering the pizza and I had put on like some sexy clothing. Sure. And there's all of a sudden, nothing funnier than a drunk person trying to be fucking hot. <laughs> that was me. It's Honestly, so me trying to be hot, even sober is funny, <laughs> but like drunk, terrible. So I like immediately stripped off whatever I was wearing, the nothing I was wearing, and went into the shower and tried to pretend like that was intentional. But really, I just needed to sober up. (laughs) And I'm like letting the water beat down on me and just staring, (laughs) staring at the handle, (laughs) hoping not to be wasted. Yeah. But I was. And then neither of us... Uh, reach the mountaintop but i did go downstairs and get the pizza oh i thought you were like talking about like going into your sexual no. campaign but i did go downstairs on it i was like congratulations no, i did not <laughs> um but i i now i'm curious what did i wear to go to downstairs go- <laughs> to go get the pizza i don't remember i remember going standing in the elevator and just like <laughs> leaning on the door and then i was like thank you for the pizza and then i went back upstairs like <sighs> smashed some pieces and passed out oh my god amazing anyway anyways <laughs> so if you guys want to hear more of whatever the fuck's happening right now go to our patreon.com Patreon. slash ladies and tangents and yeah. we're gonna give you some mo. right right rate subscribe <laughs> Hey, like, rate, review, subscribe, <laughs> rate comments. Give us some freaking high fives. Yeah. We love you. Show us you love us. Go follow me on Instagram. See, <laughs> <laughs> you needy bitch. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. I am going to maybe start doing TikToks. I was thinking today. <gasps> I thought it would be fun to okay. start doing some actual, like, obviously, we have our TikTok yeah. page. Do but it. I, just, I just wanted to start. What was I thinking about doing? I thought doing? about doing music ones. I thought about Because I was thinking about doing something and I was like, that would be like fun little TikTok y like, segments. Fuck, what was I thinking of? Might have been cooking or something Maybe. like that. But it was just something fun that I was like, I'd like to do. Yeah. I'd like to do a little TikTok. A little dabbling. Yeah. We probably won't. But and hey. then maybe I would do some like makeup stuff there. Drunk makeup. Oh, just drunk funny. Makeup's fun. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We love you guys. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. If I ever do that, I'll let you know. <laughs> It'll <laughs> probably be like the Sims thing where I said it, everyone got excited, and it never <laughs> We That's on par. We're just hoping that everyone forgot. Yep. <laughs> um, but someday maybe we'll surprise you. Yep. Okay. Um, that's the that on some of these Amazon reviews. And we love you so much. Call your representatives. Yes. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.